new fashions come to be born. That isn't really such a poser as how some of them come to be worn. But today we're able to take you inside a famous Paris dress house to see the birth of a new creation. Now here's a printed silk frock with a plain bolero designed by Jean Dressings, one of the foremost fashion artists. At first sight it doesn't seem very different, but the individual note is in the shape of the shoulders, which are squared and stiffened. Monsieur himself gives it the final touch before the mannequin takes the floor for the critical inspection of buyers, writers, and sometimes if they're lucky, cameramen. An ingenious idea in draped blouses. Reversed, it's a kind of jacket with wide reverse for afternoon wear. A fancy apron effect that adds a gay summery air to an otherwise rather sedate looking frock. Tied tightly at the waist, it gives you that svelte appearance that goes so well with, uh, so well with, well, uh, so well with the opposite sex. Here's a gown being modeled on the figure. It's an evening frock in cyclamen silk material adorned with subtly draped folds and those artistic touches that mark the creation of a genius. And if she's cut off in the prime of life, it's all in the cause of fashion. A hood and cape of grey tulle complete the ensemble. A perfect example of gauze and effect. Other countries may have their distinctive fashions, but it's safe to say that all of them are affected by the products of Parisian salons. So vive la mode! 